faith leaders coming together in Boston tonight for a Christmas immigration detention vigil. The group is protesting what it calls unjust immigration policies, keeping families away from each other during the holiday season. WBC's Jim Smith is live in Boston for us tonight. He has more on their message. Jim? Well, Ken, the issue of immigration is certainly very relevant given the ongoing impasse in Washington over the border wall. And tonight, these demonstrators brought their message here to the South Bay House of Correction. We're with you. We're with you. We see you. We see you. The demonstrators targeted a specific location, gathering at the Mass Ave ramp in view of the South Bay House of Correction. They said they wanted to support those inside at what they called the immigration detention block. There are human beings in that uh, in those facilities that are being held simply because they don't have documentation. Uh, it's the equivalent of a speeding ticket. These are not uh, mass, uh, extremely serious crimes. These individuals are being held because of a policy which I, I think is both immoral and unsupported. The action comes with the federal government partially shut down as the president pushes for a border wall. The wall signifies fear. The wall signifies hatred. And sadly, the wall signifies evil. We know God's spirit can cross any wall, can go through any border. It's a shame that we are it's a national scandal that we're keeping families apart from one another. The protesters included a young woman just back from five months of social work in Honduras. She says many families in the region will continue trying to get into the U.S. despite the risk of detention and deportation. If the choice is starve to death, be recruited by a gang, or take your chances coming to the United States, I think that any, any parent would try to do the latter. These demonstrators are promising to continue speaking out. They say vigils like the one today take on even more meeting during the holidays. Live in Boston, Jim Smith, WBZ News. All right.